Hello, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to the Cake Radio Show. I'm the Cake Dive, and I hope y'all are doing well because today we're going to be talking about Cynthia Erivo and the post about that fan edit poster. For those who don't know, Cynthia Erivo is a Broadway star and singer and actress who is about to get her big moment with Wicked Part 1 and Part 2, Part 1 coming out this year. I'm going to keep calling it part one because I don't know why they keep pretending this isn't a part one of two. If you're getting two installments, y'all, get ready. You know what you're getting into. Um, But she's going to be in these movies. And a lot of people, there was a fan, well, not even a lot of people. There was a fan edit that was circling online of one of the posters that they released for the film that paid homage to the Broadway poster. The fan edit, quote unquote, attempted to do the Broadway poster justice and try to pay a little bit closer homage to it um, by hiding Cynthia's eyes with a bigger hat and giving her red lipstick. And Cynthia was not having it. She posted on her Instagram story. This is the wildest, most offensive thing that I've seen equal to that, uh, to equal to that awful AI bus fighting equal to the people posting the question is your green. None of this is funny. None of this is None of it is cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. The original poster is an illustration. I'm a real life human being who chose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without the words we communicate with our eyes. The poster is an homage to not an imitation to edit my face and hide my eyes it's to erase me. That is just deeply hurtful. And let me put this right here to remind you and cleanse your palette. And she posted the like original version of the poster that they released paying homage to the Broadway poster. And a lot of people have been, like, making fun of her about this. A lot of people have been very weird and unserious about the situation. So I want to give my thoughts on this and, I guess, put things to rest. Um, For starters, I don't think Cynthia is necessarily wrong for being upset. I think that a lot of the things that she said is kind of valid. As much as people are kind of like, oh, like, she's being weird and she's, like, being a diva and da-da-da-da-da. Like, she is a little bit... Like, some of these things are a little bit unserious that she's calling out, but she is fair in, like, calling out some of the erasure. Because, the, like, we have to admit that some erasure has been happening during the rollout of this Wicked movie. Whether it be with this poster or not, I think the main thing I feel like we should focus on is that there is erasure happening, and it is a result of colorism. And a lot of people have been acting very weird when the film's been promoted, and, like, putting a lot more focus on Ariana instead of Cynthia and being really weird when Cynthia gets her props for a role in a movie that's based on a Broadway musical that is focused on the character that Cynthia is playing. And I think that's just something that we have to acknowledge, whether it's when the Oscar submissions were revealed and it was revealed that, you know, uh, Cynthia was going to be submitted into... Uh, best best actor best actress for a leading role, and Ariana Grande was gonna be in best supporting actress for Wicked, and a lot of people were being very weird, being like, oh, like why isn't Ariana also being submitted in best um and best leading actress? Like why is why is she in supporting? Da 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 da, and some of those people are like hardcore like Ariana f- stands trying to get her like her flowers and all that type of stuff, but on the other hand, like they are ignoring the fact. Well, some of them are just very stupid, but some of them are just ignoring the fact that, like, with Wicked, for those who even have this basic understanding of what that story is even about, Cynthia's character is at the forefront. This is the Wicked Witch's tale and how she became the Wicked Witch. And Glinda the Good Witch, who is played by Ariana, is a supporting character in this. She does have importance. Supporting characters do have importance to these stories. But she's not the lead in this by any means. This isn't Glenda's story. At least, and like, Glenda will appear in the story, but she's talking about the Wicked Witch's story. Belphabubba's story. That's not how you say her name, but anyways. um, I think that her talking about this and, it, like, you can tell that she's passionate about, like, her wanting to give y'all the wicked story as they intended and she's very passionate and excited about this and as she should because this is a very major moment for her but on the other hand you can acknowledge that this is 
singling out the poster is a little bit odd. Um, singling out the, like, AI video of them fighting is a little bit odd. And I guess speaking on these things can be a little bit odd. That's why people were starting to talk about this a lot. Because I feel like people could, she could have done this in a little bit more of a, I don't even know. Because I, 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 was about to, I was about to say that, like, she could have done this in a more tasteful way. But on the other hand, I feel like if Ariana spoke out about these things, I don't think people would have given this. Like, I feel like this is an act of colorism. Because, again, I feel like people wouldn't have given this the amount of, like, vitriol and, like, negative reaction that they gave, you know, Cynthia in this moment. I feel like if Ariana came forward and was like, hey, y'all, I know you guys are excited about the Wicked movie, but, like... The AI video is weird, and this edit is weird. If she said anything about that, like, I feel like people would have... some. I feel like some people would have been like, oh, like, that's fair, Ariana, Ariana, and they wouldn't have given this that big of an issue. And there probably would have been some fans being like, or some people be like, oh, like, Ariana's taking this too seriously, da 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 But, like, fans would have hushed her up. Whereas with, like, it hushed them up and been like, yeah, like, but this is a human at the end of the day. Whereas with Cynthia, they just kind of threw, they throw her to the wolves a little bit. They're just like, okay, like, da- here you go, damn. Like, oh, like, you're a DV, you're weird, da 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 Like, we got to acknowledge that there is a little bit of colorism at play here. And that's very weird. And again, I'm not, that's not to say that, like, her singling out this poster, her singling out, like, the AI stuff and, like, the is your green moment isn't odd. And I keep, I know I keep saying that without expanding upon it, but like the is your green meme has existed before the movie even rolled out. It has always been a meme that people have done. So like this is, so like some of these things have existed before we even got the rollout for Wicked. The fan edit, I feel like it's just like, while it is odd, it is something that you got to charge to the game a little bit because when it comes to these big major movies, the moment that something that's like inspired by previous IP, the moment that there's something in there that audiences don't see as like a pure homage to the original, they're gonna start doing fan edits and doing trying to get on Photoshop acting like they got it. And it's just a good example of seeing that like a lot of people can't do this Photoshop shit. A lot of people can't do this marketing shit for real. So like leave it to the professionals. And, like, with a lot of these actresses who, like, have to deal with stuff like this, like, with Halle Bailey, with The Little Mermaid, when people were, you know, racism aside, because that's a whole different, that's when I, that's that's something that's similar to this conversation, but I want to focus on, like, the fan edits and stuff like that. Those who were editing her hair to, like, make it red, and those who were, like, adding a lot more color to make things a little bit more vibrant, um, compared to, like, the trailers, so not only were they not letting the film come out, they were making, they were writing, the, trying to do a lot of things to write the film off before the film even came out. And the film was incredible, by the way. They also showed that they really don't know how to edit for shit. Like a lot of these, a lot of those edits look really bad. Like Halle Bailey, it's a good thing that they did that when they had Halle Bailey play as Ariel, they went with a brown hair like color and look because she would look fucking crazy with some red hair like hello like there's a reason there's like costume designers and those who are like designing these looks for a reason for this film so that everything looks good on screen and while this poster while the original poster that they like paid homage to it's okay i don't think it looks i don't think it's the best poster in the world it does pay homage in a way that like fits the film adaptation of wicked and the fan edit that they posted looks fucking awful. Like, no one's trying to say it because, like, the Cynthia the Reva drama came out and everyone's trying to act weird about it. But that fan edit looks fucking horrible. Y'all, it looks like they made Cynthia Reva look like Tokyo Tony. Like, what is, like, and y'all trying to act like this looks good? Like, whatever Cynthia said aside, the poster just don't look good. Like, Hello? And, you know, some people have also, like, resurfaced, like, um, the tweets. There was, like, a lot of tweets that were going around from people, like, being like, oh, like, I wonder if Cynthia still has the, like, like, has those feelings about how she feels about, like, 
African Americans like she did in the past. And I tried, I personally tried looking up those tweets. I hope somebody in the comments on YouTube or Spotify can let me know like what exactly she said and can like cite exactly what she said verbatim because I tried looking for these tweets. And one, the tweets, one of the tweets she was like, Yes, they can. They they were out of poor taste because one of the tweets she she like called Af- like an African American accent, like a ghetto American accent, um, which was very offensive. But there was that in which like she did come forward during like the Harriet rollout because she was playing Harriet Tubman at that time when the tweets started resurfacing, and she was like, "Oh, like y'all didn't give me the floor to really speak on this. Like I wasn't trying to say anything with any real intent. Like this was me." trying to quote a song that I made when I was like 16 da 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 and she did own up to it she's like I oh, like I she well she did it in a way that was very PR she like oh like I love my, all, all my people like the fact that like like I wouldn't be playing this role if I didn't love my people and that's all my people da 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 there was like another tweet that popped up in which she was just like oh like um African Americans see British, like black British people as like or like actors as like a separate thing within the acting world and that wasn't necessarily anything offensive like that's definitely like something that can be raised for conversation so were some of the tweets out of poor taste yes and did she apologize for it sort of kind of in a PR way do we have to hold her against this do we have to always hold her against this I don't necessarily think so because I think that at the end of the day like it's not it wasn't at least the tweets that I was pulling up they weren't anything too awful like they were bad yes and they were in poor taste but I think that she tried her best to try to clean it up and I think that we can just leave it at that like I don't know how long we going to like feed her to the wool like do we really have to feed her to the wolves over this like a lot of other people, a lot of other black people too, have said so much worse. And we've just been like, okay, like shade room comments, we saying the worst things on earth. And we just like, okay, ha ha ha. You know, we've had like Boosie and well, let's let's actually stick with some like actual talented people. Um we've had like Carisha and like the City Girls and like even Nicki Minaj say, like, very offensive things before. And they've been like, oh, like, I'm not really going to apologize for that. Or they've apologized, but they're just like, I still have those feelings. And we've been, some people have been fine with that and just kind of charged it to the game. While others are like, yeah, that's fucking weird. Um, I don't think what Cynthia said in those tweets was, like, the end of the world. I think some people just really want to get at her a little bit. She did try to apologize and clean up for it. Yeah, I think that that's something that we can move on from. I don't know. But in the end, I don't think this really... Like, I think people are going to talk about this in a moment. And people are going to be really weird about this. Like, people have been really weird about this situation. Like, people have been, like, making fake uh, backup accounts for Cynthia. And ba- making fe- fake tweets about her. And making, like, weird memes about her. Like, some, some people are going to be just really nasty or rude about this. And it's just what happens with things like these, unfortunately. Um, and again, do I think that she is wrong for feeling some type of way about these things? Not necessarily, but I do think that the things that she like picked on, like this poster, which yes, it does suck, but is kind of expected for something like this with an IP, you know, with, with the, is your green meme? Like that is something that's existed well before these films came out. Um, the AI thing, like AI, not defending AI by any means because AI literally sucks, but people have made AI of just like different celebrities and stuff like that since we really, since people, since companies have really been pushing AI. So I think that like, that is something that we can address and say that that's weird, really weird. I'm not going to stand behind that. I'm not going to defend AI in that way. Um, so you know what? Yeah, she is right about the AI stuff, but like everything else is kind of odd. Her being in Charlie XCX's comments for like the sympathy is a knife remix edit uh, thing with like her making Charlie XCX green and have like a witch's hat. Her being Cynthia being in the comments being like wow and like people being like oh like I don't know if this is you know her being like shot like her being 
or like her being upset by it. Like, I don't know. Somehow, like at, at the end of the day, somehow some theater kids are a little bit unsufferable, but like they can fucking act. So like, I feel like, you know, it just came to me. We don't know these people. And I feel like I talked about this before in, in my podcast episodes. We don't know these celebrities. So like, at the end of the day, like we're always just consuming them. So at the end of the day, like we should really just like, tune it like unless they say something that's like absurdly controversial they don't own up to that and like try to apologize for it something that cynthia has done with some of those comments that she's made in the past we should just consume the work and leave it at that like we i feel like people are going a little bit too hard with this and i question if you know even if again right She's she's right to be upset, but uh, but she's is she right to be using these things as examples to be upset about? Uh, mixed bag. Um, but I really do question. I really I really do. I really do question if people would have reacted the same way if Ariana Grande said the exact same things as she did. Would people have been like, oh, like she's a diva, like oh, like she is you know weird for this? Some people might because she's a woman. But I think that because because Cynthia is a dark skinned black woman and because Ariana's white, I think reactions generally would have been a little bit different than they have been. And I'll leave it at that. That has been this week's episode of the Cake Radio Show. Sorry for the delay. I know I usually drop on Thursdays or Fridays, but I have been in the studio working on a project for the Cake Dive channel called Red Velvet. I am so excited for y'all to see that. And I will be doing promotion here on Cake Dive to promote that project because it's been something I've been working on for about two years. I'm glad that it's finally, you know, come to shape and a lot of big things are happening for it. And I can't wait for you all to tune in for that when it comes out soon. But that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Cake Radio Show. As I said before, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel where you get episodes before anyone else. And if you're, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platforms, we're pretty much everywhere. Thank you for listening. If you can drop comments on the podcast platforms, be sure to drop comments. Let me know what you think about this situation, what you thought about this episode. And be sure to give the show a good rating and a like because it helps. I love y'all so much. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye-bye.